New bombshell revelations are raising serious questions about the evidence used nearly a decade ago to get a murder conviction against international dancehall superstar Vibes Cartel. And it's adding fuel to his fight for freedom. I spoke exclusively with his attorney, Isop Buchanan. He says there's no longer any doubt key evidence was falsified. And a scientific investigation by a digital forensic expert proves it. Now the Privy Council, the United Kingdom's version of the U.S. Supreme Court, will have the final say. Say. Mentally, I've always been in a good place because I know I'm innocent. And For more than 10 years, Adija Vibes Cartel Palmer has maintained his innocence in the alleged murder of Clive Williams, whose body was never found. His conviction came from a mostly circumstantial case based on a video and phone records from his Blackberry torch and a discredited witness. Now a comprehensive investigation by a certified British digital forensic expert, cast doubts about the very authenticity of this evidence. In short, he found it didn't match up with the scientific reality. So when there is a, a gap between the, the, the footprint, for instance, the video didn't have any GPS on it, and all other videos on the, on the phone had GPS, had, had the, the metadata and the epoch times in sequence, in his detailed report, digital forensic expert David John Martin Woodgate found that the video prosecutors claim put Palmer at the scene of the crime also had a time stamp that was different from the inalterable embed time. Buchanan says Cartel was at the hospital at the time of the alleged murder, and this proves it. Tampering or a misreporting of the time, which was crucial. So the time was clearly changed to fit the prosecution's case. The British digital expert also found proof that the phone had been used to make calls even after it had been seized by Jamaican authorities and that it had not been kept in a sealed evidence bag, which is standard law enforcement protocol. There was no explanation as to um, storage mechanism. Why was the bag open? Why, why wasn't it locked? Who opened it? Who, who would have touched it before, during, after? all of that. So those issues were, those concerns were raised by the expert. Attorney Buchanan says the report helped convince the United Kingdom's highest court, the Privy Council, to review Cartel's appeal. They will have the final say on whether he is vindicated or must remain behind bars. I'm very happy and optimistic about being before the Privy Council. It is the final court and, you know, justice is for all. No one from the Jamaican court system can comment on this since the entire matter is now before the Privy Council. Attorney Buchanan says he's prepared to go to London to make the case for cartel's freedom in person, which he's expecting to do early next year. In his words, the defense never rests. I'm Lisa Evers, Fox 5 News.